Okay, not sure how good the sound quality is. It's quite an echo in here. But uh, just arrived at the Wokist in Manchester. Um, it's going to be a very interesting 24 hours. I'm going to try and paint all this. Uh, I'm going to probably crash on the floor somewhere. I'll, I'll cut to that later on. But uh, yeah, the idea is to paint like a load of noodles. I have like characters coming out of them uh, on both sides. I'm going to like film. Yeah, the process of me doing it. Uh, the way I got this job was I actually painted the front shutters as part of the job for delivery. So I'm going to be pretty much doing all the artwork in here, both walls and outside. So yeah, let's jump to it because I've got quite a lot to do in the next 24 hours. So let's start with this wall. I'm going to be using that chicken scrap technique that I usually use. A lot of artists use this method to scale up drawings and it's way easier than using the grid. I never use a projector because as you know, projectors are for the devil. It's a pretty rough sketch but you know, I'm painting a lady with her hair in a bun. I use this hairstyle a lot mainly because I really like painting ears. So I don't want to like obstruct her ears with the hair. Uh, the yellow that I'm painting now is where the noodles are going to be. It's kind of going to be submerged up to her mouth. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing these noodles actually. It's going to be quite challenging but it should be quite fun. We already like so many fumes in here. <laughs> I'm going pretty epically slow with this, but um, getting into my groove, once it's done the head, I should be able to bash this wall out and then start the other one, but yeah, I'm having fun. The fumes are kind of killing me there, even with the mask. Um, yeah, I keep having breaks when you're painting inside, but yeah, it's getting Just uh, hope I've got enough paint. Onto the hands now, something a lot of us really hate when we start out. I've practiced quite a lot and something I really love about them is you can physically hold one up and use it as reference, which is something you can't really do with any other body part. But yeah, I'm gonna crack on with the other wall now just because I think we better for paint drying and I also wanna paint like all the noodles at the same time. I'm gonna chuck this um, big like panda, a bit like Kung Fu Panda, but obviously not the same. Eating some noodles, have some like bamboo shoots in the background. And I'm hoping this one look awesome. The first time I did this, I actually did it way wrong. Uh, it's a bit too small, so yeah, I moved it over more in the middle. Um, just something that happens when you get sleepy, guys. As you can see, I'm using a light grey for the base tone and a white for where the light hits the panda's face, and also a dark grey for the underside. So I might just like to start with dark and then do medium and light, but this is just how I like to separate those three tones. Uh, yeah, we're getting there. Pretty happy with how it's going so far. Uh, it's about half nine, and yeah, just gonna keep powering on. Both boards have started now, which is a lot better, and just gonna keep jumping between the two of them. It's getting cold, it's supposed to snow tonight. Um, gonna power through, through at least until like two o'clock, I reckon. Get some sleep, maybe like three hours, and then three or four hours wake up. I, mean, I don't know what the plan is, we'll see what happens. Back on the hand. So yeah, you can probably see I'm holding my hand up, looking at where the light's hitting it, because if I've got one at the end of my arm, why the hell not use it for reference? Damn, these noodles are a bit harder than I thought. You, you try to make them look a bit random, but then, step back and they just don't look right. Some bits I'm happy with, like this looks like it's kind of wrapping around the hand, so that's that's good. I made, yeah, enough headwear I think with this one. I'm gonna do the noodles tomorrow, I'm a bit too tired, I think. Yeah, hit the hay. It's not exactly a five star hotel tonight. Uh, this is where I'm gonna be sleeping. It's almost like an episode of Cribs. I got a sleeping bag with no pillow. I found this lovely divan style piece of black wood, um, should be my bed. Got my OJ if I get thirsty, or better still, I've got, that's right, a paint bucket, a staple for any creative if you get thirsty. I'm only planning on getting a couple hours sleep, so good night guys, see you in the morning. So yeah, probably one of the worst sleeps I've had in a while. 
but I had a sleeping bag and a little heater and I wrapped like a t-shirt around my face to stop all of the like, dust from getting into my lungs. But yeah, I kept waking up, it's on a really busy road. But uh, look, it's a new day. Let's crack on. I need to move around just to get warm. <laughs> Yeah, I think this one's shaping up quite nicely. I'm having quite a lot of fun doing this panda. I don't really paint animals that often, but I'm yeah, really enjoying it. I think I'm going to do a few more of these in the future if I get the chance. So yeah, we've not really done steam before, so I've been having like, a lot of trouble with it. Uh, I finally decided on how I'm going to do it. So I've done like the white, touched on the inside with the blue. I did experiment with like, having the noodle showing through because it didn't look good. And it also had like dark bit which looked good but looked crap over the noodles. So I've wasted about an hour trying to work out the steam. But I'm pretty happy with how it looks now. So it should be quite easy to just smash that in. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it on the other, other side as well. But I need to hurry up because I need to do a sign. Little bits more walls. I did want to add some more characters in. Uh, another bomber is my highlight yellow is completely blocked. Uh, it's a dot, and I've been smashing it for ages, and it's just. Ah! So I've got to go here to the shop, which is very annoying because that's going to eat into more of my time. But these things happen. Uh, yeah. Oh, if you're interested in the paints that I use, I use mainly Montana, but also use NTN 94. It looks like I'm mainly using 94 in this photo, but it's stuck somewhere else. It's supposed to be the most environmentally conscious aerosol manufacturer, so yeah, that's mainly why I use them. I find it really hard to actually keep my mask on, so having something that doesn't have like toxic heavy metals in it does really help. I think the coverage is also like pretty sick. The cans normally come out the same colour as they are on top of the tin and yeah the pressure is pretty much perfect for what I use it for. Yeah the steam's coming out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I was gonna initially put some clouds in the background but I think yeah this ties in more of the noodles and yeah the blue going through the yellow looks really good. Yeah I'm happy with this choice. putting that canarious yellow in that's that light yellow that was a dud earlier I'm so glad that I actually went and got another can because it really makes the noodles pop it needs that extra shine definitely getting into the swing of doing these noodles now uh, still a little bit tricky but yeah with this light yellow it's Oh, it's so much easier to work out because yeah you have that third tone like with the bear's head you need dark medium and light Very close to finish this one now, but I'm pretty conscious of how much time I've got left because I also need to do a sign, which is going to say Wokist. I don't really have time to sketch anything else, it's going to be a bit of a freestyle. But I've got the noodles down, there's not a lot left to do, it's just going to be touch up, so I just want to smash the sign out so I know I can just spend the last bit of time making sure everything's neat. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this bit. This bit's going to be good. So my plan is to write like Wokist, and then I'm going to have like all the noodles wrapped around it. I need to make deep like a little gap on top. Yeah, for this one I thought it might be quite cool to just do a little time lapse from one angle and yeah, not really think about the camera too much, which is something you do quite often when you're filming yourself.
Yeah, I kind of freestyled this one. I mean, it's not too complicated because I'm painting loads of noodles anyway. But I added this second one color. It's monster that. I think it made it pop a little bit more. Um, do I have to announce all of this? I don't know. But yeah, I think this went pretty well considering. Yeah, it was additional work that I didn't know I was going to be doing. But quite fun. So yeah, it's been a fun 24 hours. Uh, I've had two murals and the sign. Um, yeah, I'd say I enjoyed every minute of it, but I didn't enjoy the bit when I was trying to sleep. Um, you might have seen earlier, so I had very painted moustache, but I've washed it off now. Um, this is the most I've ever worn my mask. Usually I don't wear it, but yeah, I had to wear it this time, and I still managed to get a little moustache here. But yeah, the, I really love this project because even though it's very noodle themed and this is a noodle place, they let me do whatever I wanted and say this is what I wanted to do. talking to you now I can see all the little mistakes so maybe another 10 minutes but then it's time to get back home I'm back back in Bristol epic five-hour journey with some train delays load of nonsense but it feels good to be home yeah I just want to say a huge thank you to the walkers for having me down uh, it takes a lot of faith to just let an artist run with their ideas and yeah the best projects are the ones where you can do whatever you want paint whatever you like so yeah, I really appreciate the fact that I was given a lot of freedom. I was given a colour palette of using black and yellow and I think I kind of did mainly black and yellow with a yellow bottom and a black top. And yeah, I mean that was all I was given and that's literally the best jobs. Um, more of those please. Yeah, if this is the first time you checked out one of my videos, I'm going to be making a bunch more of this. This is the kind of second vlog style one I've done. Uh, hopefully I'll get better with practice. I think there were some pretty shoddy angles, a few mistakes. I need to get some better equipment, but you know this is going to take a little bit of time. But yeah, thanks a lot for tuning in, thanks for listening, and yeah, until next time guys, catch you in a bit.